Hello YouTube. Um, sorry I haven't been making videos for a while just because I've been kind of busy with making my own web browser. If any of you are interested in it, um, you could give me ideas before the final release this Christmas. <laughs> um, hopefully it'll be pretty good matching up with Google Chrome, you know, Mozilla and Safari. Of course it's faster than Internet Explorer, but that's a different story. Well, either way, today I'm going to show you the tweaks that are compatible with the iOS 4.2.1. Um, I'm not happy with the jailbreak right now because, of course, every time I turn it off, I have to turn it back on using that little red snow, you know, tethered, which I hate. Well, one of the most ones you noticed already is the way my icons scroll. And that's called um, Barrel. Of course, you could download that off of Cydia and technically it just gives like a 3D effect like a cube and yeah so as you can see cube effect it's pretty cool it's not laggy either and another thing compatible of course will be multi, um, folder enhancer folder enhancer completely works with uh, with it uh, let's see um, another thing works is hmm well I don't know it's not appearing there but it said it was compatible I don't think it is my OS is compatible so if you go to settings you go to go down see my OS you could turn anything off home screen all papers off none that all of that works of course you'll need to respring every time um lock info works with 4.2 just to show you 4.2 um not many stuff works now but yeah it's a start let's see weather icon that works um activator kinda works some bit of functionality needs to work on another thing that is pretty cool that works is gravity board and gravity board all it does is let you do that and if you go to a different page where it's like two apps you could just hold or well, whatever you activated to and as you can see and one of the cool things about it is that you can actually run the app from it but yeah which is pretty cool of course, Cydia has gotten major updates, slightly faster. Some of the displays look better. It doesn't crash as often either. Um, so, yeah. You get your sources here. All works fine. Your refresh doesn't get an annoying at times. Your updates, yeah. Some huge um, differences. And as you can see, one of the ones you've probably already seen. Press the home button. And I guess that's pretty much it, you guys, because there's not that much that came out of anyways. If you want to get this out, you, all you have to do is download my OS and, you know, have everything on one app instead of two different apps. Uh, I think I... Oh, and for, finally, for Safari, SP settings works perfectly fine as well before I forget. One thing for Safari that pretty much works, as you can see, I have a whole rack of tabs. Just open a new tab, and there you go. We have the little um, grid view for tabs. And all I have to do is just do that, and you could close it, open, you know, basic stuff, which is pretty cool, instead of having that little scrolling. So, yeah, that's another thing. This is called um, grid view, I think, for Safari. And then that will be it for today, guys. So, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, so, yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. That's all I'm going to be talking about today. Any apps that get updated for 4.2.1, I'll make a video and let you guys know. Um, I just broke my iPod yesterday because I didn't want to wait too long for the untethered one. But, yeah, I really don't like the tethered. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Please comment, rate, subscribe, you know. Um, I'll be happy to help with any of you guys who have late responses because I'm working on a web browser. So thanks for watching, guys. So, um, FaceTime me and Admin Game Center.
And yeah, see you guys later.